What's going on, everybody out there? I'm Larry, the No Regret Show. I'm at work. I've been here all weekend. A lot of you know I was off the whole summer, so now I'm back to work. I'm in the grind because I want to take off three months next year. I want to start my vacation uh, at the beginning of June and possibly not go back to mid-September. Now, think about subscribing, joining the channel. There's always been a beef between index fund investors versus dividend fund investors, dividend fund investors versus day traders, index funds versus day traders. In my opinion, index funds investors and dividend investors are closer than you think. We both know that the odds are stacked against you with day trading. I went down the rabbit hole of CoffeeZilla and you know what? I never realized how good a journalist he is on bringing credible people onto his show and his research. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All the way down to, I need to see their P&L. Like, if I can see their P&L, then you can see whether they're real or not. Profit and loss statement. Profit and loss statement. Like, a real profit and loss statement on their account. I believe they say they make all this money. Well, where is the proof of all that, you know? So I realized that was the best way to figure out if, if an instructor was credible was showing a P&L. So I started, I went on to YouTube. I started asking in the comment sections of these guys saying, hey, can you show me your P&L? You know, I wasn't being, in, you know, I was being sure. cool about it. I wasn't being like, you don't know what you're doing. Show me your P&L. You, come on. You don't, I'll prove it. You know, I wasn't like that. I was like, hey. Can you show, you know, for me, it's helpful if I can see your P&L, that would kind of help me out to prove that you're credible, you know. I and how that. many people on average would show? i say I'd probably ask like, I don't know, 35, I would say one. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe two. I mean, like none of them. I mean, their accountant said that they couldn't say, show it, uh, legal reasons they couldn't show it. Did you see that individual? He says they never show profits and losses. And he's absolutely right. You want to know why they don't show real statements? Now, the people, now listen, I have a join button. I'm building a dividend portfolio. The people over there will tell you, I do not say you're going to be rich. I don't say any of that. I say you got to go to work. You got to stay consistent with it. And you got to buy great companies. Now, a lot of the people will say just own the S&P in the total stock market. I agree with you. You might have missed the 700 videos I did before this where I said, put your money in S&P or total stock market. But if you read a lot of those books from Benjamin Graham, David Dodd, Warren Buffett, um, uh, but Burton to G. Macchio, they will tell you there's nothing wrong with having income, having equities that pay income later on in life. When you're younger, growth, go for it. Of a middle age, okay. If if you want to be growth and speculative, it's your it's your portfolio. I can't tell you I can't tell you what to do with it. I didn't help you make the money. I can't tell you how to spend your money. But later on in life, income is a is more important in an older person's life because more gray hairs will come. Your body will break down. Your mind will break down. You want to have steady streams of income coming in. There's nothing wrong with having dividend stocks. That will supplement your income if you do not have a pension, if you do not have that much social security coming to you, okay? Yeah, you may pay higher taxes, but I have a question for you. Would you rather have more money coming in later on and paying higher taxes, or would you rather have less money and be worried that you don't have enough money? I'll take, I'll take option A. I would rather have more money coming in later on in life and worry about that than to have less money and now my body and mind can't do it. They never show P&Ls. Want to know why? Here's my P&L for my dividend portfolio. Now, you're not going to see what stocks are in there. Those are the members that get to see that. The 999 members, they get to see that I'm telling the truth. Not only do you get the dividend income, do you see that growth? I started this in May. When you do educate yourself, you know what stocks to buy with a lower P.E. ratio, you know, if it's a good deal, is it a hype stop, is it a long-term dividend aristocrat, is it a king, you have a better chance of having income come oh, the money! Speculative stocks, you really don't know. And there's another thing that you might have not seen. Do you see that watermark from Charles Schwab? They don't show statements from the bank month to month or 1099 because that is considered wire fraud. Wire fraud is showing fictitious bank statements 
for gain, meaning somebody doctorates this, right? Say, the, 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 I don't want to go to jail. So let's just say that was fake. Charles Schwab contacts me. That's wire fraud. I can go to jail for that. Say they contact me and they go, why are you showing your broker statement? Because I really got the stocks in there. Shut up. Don't call me anymore. I have, I have an account with you. Leave me alone before I pull my money out and go somewhere else. That is the difference between a lot of these influencers. They do not show P&L. They get up here. I'm buying this. I'm buying that. I woke up at one in the morning and bought some Shiba Inu. I woke up at two in the morning and bought some bunk coin. You don't know because they've never shown you a real bank statement, not a screenshot, not a uh, not a, um, a spreadsheet. They've never shown a real bank statement with the letter, uh, with the name heading from their brokerage institution. They may show you Google Finance and talk about a stock. They may show you Yahoo Finance and talk about a stock. Why are they not showing you the stock in their portfolio that they actually own? When I make videos in the membership, I literally talk about the stock that I own in my portfolio that I've shown proof for. These people will talk about a stock on Google Finance. They'll talk about the analysts. You never trust analysts. A lot of these analysts are scammy as hell. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever shut off YouTube, social media, the TV? Does your next door neighbor, what does he do for a living? Is he a multi-millionaire from buying Shiba Inu or Dogecoin? Is he a multi-millionaire with, with the hot plays or the hot stocks? I've never met anybody in my real life. And this is why a lot of index fund investors and dividend fund investors, yeah, will argue you know, what's better, what taxes and this, but a lot of us are exactly the same. A lot of us are. The people that hold index funds, if they wanted to build a dividend portfolio, I'm sure they would build a pretty good dividend portfolio because, because they understand they're not gambling. A lot of these people, when they say, I'm buying this stock, I'm buying this stock, they act like they're just buying a pack of gum. You're buying a company. I'm not just buying a stock because a CEO is talking about it. I want to see your financials. I want to see if you're profitable. How long you've been around? How long you've been that CEO? How long has your company been making money? What do you do? Are you in a space that you cornered the market? Or are you just out here trying to hype the price of your stock? I only buy stocks that have been around a long time, that have good cash flow, that are consistent paying dividends, that are consistent increasing dividends. And the most important thing, you got to go to work. You got to go to work. You need money to fund these accounts. Do you know what the number one reason why people don't retire with money it has nothing to do with losing money or selling stocks too early? They don't put no money in. They don't put no money in. They, And if they do, they usually gamble. They get crushed. They get discouraged and they quit. So that's just my two cents. I'm about to leave this parking lot. I'm about to go get some rest. And this is how you do it. This is how you buy homes. You got to go to work. You gotta fund your accounts. Look at our credibility. Our channels are growing, their channels are shutting off comments, channels are dying, why is that? Because they got up here and they sold the dream. Remember, the dream is always for sale, okay? The dream is always for sale, but the truth, you gotta go find that yourself. No regrets, get it.